Greetings from Savvy Layman. Today, I'll show you how to quickly overclock your Ryzen desktop CPU with Precision Boost Overdrive. Though I consider PBO ridiculously safe, AMD still shows a warning before you can enter the overclocking section of the BIOS menu where PBO can be found. The same applies to AMD's monitoring and overclocking software, Ryzen Master. Thus, a short disclaimer. Overclocking of any system component can possibly result in instability or, in the worst case, in permanent damage of components. Overclocking is not officially covered by warranty. Therefore, play it safe and only at risk. There are these three prerequisites for this exercise. First, proper cooling, for example, a tower cooler or an all-in-one liquid cooler. Second, a reliable power supply with enough wattage headroom. Third, sufficiently powerful VRM on the motherboard. Precision Boost Overdrive feature set is available in UFI BIOS of all 400 or 500 series motherboards when combined with AMD Ryzen 3000 or 5000 processors. It can also be enabled in the aforementioned AMD's Ryzen Master software. PBO opportunistically increases processor's power budget by sensing SOC information such as current, voltage and temperature, as well as motherboard's VRM configuration and modifying PPT, TDC and EDC limits to further push performance. PBO simply lets stock Precision Boost algorithm do its job more aggressively. Your mileage may vary depending on how good your VRM and cooling solution is. Also, Silicon Lottery comes to play an important role here. A better bin will always benefit more from this feature. Single core boost limit can be lifted by another 200 MHz. This is called Max CPU Boost Clock Override in UFI BIOS or Auto OC in Ryzen Master. If you happen to use a Ryzen 5000 series processor with an ASUS motherboard, Stay away from PBO FMAX Enhancer Toggle, otherwise your performance gain will be effectively nullified or worse. A proof can be found in my last short video. Enabling PBO only takes me a minute or so. In the UFI BIOS, I can turn it on in AMD Overclocking section by selecting the Advanced mode. Like so. Then, I set the motherboard limits. I leave PBO scalar and platform thermal throttle limit as is, but increase max CPU boost clock override by 200 MHz. That's it, folks. Easy peasy. Here's how you can enable precision boost overdrive with 200 MHz boost clock override in Ryzen Master. As mentioned earlier, it is called auto overclocking there. Please don't ask me why. I can use, for example, profile number one and turn on auto overclocking. Then I will max out boost override CPU as well as PPT, TDC and EDC limits. Since I don't want to mess around with memory timings at this point, I will exclude the memory control. Now hit the apply button and voila, we're all set. How much improvement can be observed in benchmarks? Alright, it's fair to say PBO didn't provide a groundbreaking performance boost. 
but a one-time investment of a minute or two is still totally worth it provided you don't own a crappy motherboard or a lousy CPU cooler. Or both. Speaking of cooling, we can help the cooler a bit by reducing the heat output of the CPU. This can be done by undervolting. However, applying an all-core negative voltage offset is tricky, so I recommend ignoring it altogether. The Ryzen CPUs can accept suspiciously low negative voltage offsets, they quietly reduce boost clock, which hinders performance in the end. All-core undervolting only makes sense with a static overclock, which I will cover in one of my next videos. Therefore, if using Precision Boost Overdrive 2, which I recommend for the vast majority of Ryzen desktop users, and you are happy with your temps and boost clocks, you can stop tweaking the settings right now. But we can still go an extra mile with Ryzen 5000 series to fine-tune the performance per watt by using so-called Curve Optimizer. Since we have covered enough for today, I will leave Curve Optimizer for my next video. If you are into overclocking, stay tuned for the upcoming episodes. I plan to aim some videos at enthusiasts, savvy level, and still others at beginners, layman level. Thank you very much for watching and have a nice one.